Hey guys, today's video is the Lego Sunflower Recolors. I know this is not normally how I do my intro. It's normally on stems in a vase of some sort, but I could not get them to cooperate with me, so I just had to take them off the stems and lay them out flat so we're able to see all of the colors I have lined up for today. The sunflowers are from the set number 40524. And these have a very close design to the Gerbera daisies, except we just have the middle leaf bit versus a minifigure hat in the middle. Lego's color scheme is based off of this one right here, except instead of the orange leaves we have here in the middle, it is all the yellowish orange color. Sunflowers are actually my favorite real life flower, so I really had a fun time modifying and recoloring these to fit my specific bouquets. I love fall time and I love winter time. So anything that's like the dark reds, purples, magentas, any blues and whites, I'm all over that for my personal bouquets. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video as I go through the rest of the colors. Here are three single colored sunflowers. Starting over here, we've got our all yellow one, yellow petals, yellow leaves, and then the one by one holder plates and the two by one holder plates are also in yellow. And then on the back side here, we have lavender sticks, but it is very hard to tell from the front that there is a mix match color back there. So as long as you're okay with it sometimes, you can just use whatever color for these sticks. Of course, Keeping true to the shade of the flower would be best, but it's up to you what you want to do. The middle one here is the yellow orange. So you got yellow orange petals, yellow orange leaves, and then the plates, the one by twos, are in yellow, and then the one by ones are in orange. This is Lego's original coloring for the middle part here. And then on the back, we have the white sticks. Again, you can barely tell and you really have to look for them. And with the plates, you can also kind of use a color similar to the flower. It doesn't have to match the leaf color exactly. This one over here is the solid orange one. It's got orange petals, orange leaves, and then the middle is the same thing with the plates. It's got the one by twos in yellow, and then the one by ones in orange. And then the back, we do have orange sticks to match. And again, from the front, it's hard to see the actual stick color, but just an example of what it looks like to completely color match it. These three sunflowers have more contrast than the solid colored sunflowers. This one over here, We've got yellow petals and a yellow, orange, and orange leafed middle. They are set in a pattern of a 2112. Of course, you can do a pattern of a one to one, but just to mix it up a little bit, that's the pattern I went with for these. And then the plates, we have the one by ones in orange and the one by twos in the yellow. It does have the yellow sticks on the back with the orange holders. And that just really brings the whole look of the flower together. And you can display it from any angle and it will look very pretty. This one here in the middle, we have the orange sticks. And then the middle is the solid yellow-ish orange leaf color and then the plates, the one by ones are again in orange and the one by twos are in the yellow color. And then on the back, we do have the red sticks to hold the petals, but again, hard to tell that they are there. I do like the look of this one particularly. I'm a big fan of darker colored sunflowers versus just the bright yellow. I like how it's almost a gradient into the middle. This one over here, we've got the red petals with yellow and yellow orange leaves in the middle in that same 2112 pattern. 
I wish Lego made the leaves in the new reddish orange color and that would just make this flower so beautiful but the back does have the white sticks to hold the petals. I like that this one can bring some contrast to your bouquets. Here are three fun colored sunflowers that can go with different bouquets. This one over here is as close as you can get to a solid black sunflower since LEGO doesn't make the leaves in the black color, but the closest one is the earth green. So that is the middle. It is solid earth green with the black middle there. And then the plates, the one by ones and two by ones are both in black as well. We have the black petals and those are held by light grayish blue sticks here in the back, but you can barely tell. They do make black sticks, so that's just the easiest color to go with this one. And then it is on a black stem. The rest of them have been on the dark green stem. This one here in the middle would be perfect for a girl's bouquet or a Valentine's one. It's got magenta petals with a middle that has the light pink leaves and medium lavender leaves. The one by one holders are in medium lavender and the one by twos are in the magenta color. It is finished off there in the middle with a lilac circle and then it does have orange sticks in the back but those can be exchanged for another color. Black would probably be your best bet or even a white if you want a brighter back. This one over here gives off some evil villain vibes. We've got the dark red petals with a solid red leafed middle and then it is finished off there again with the black center. It does have lavender sticks. Again, you could opt for red, black, or another color of your choice. And then the plate colors are a little contrasty. You can see that it has a one by one there in the orange and then the one by twos are red but you can always change those these were just plates that i had on hand and it is hard to tell unless you turn it a certain way but i love that one for dark colored bouquets like fall times or even just to go with more reds these three sunflowers are absolutely perfect for a winter bouquet and can also go with a grayscale or black color scheme. This one over here, we have black petals with a dark azure leafed middle. And then the plates for that is the one by ones are in the same dark azure color. And the two by ones are in blue, which is also the same blue as the middle there. On the back, we have the dark bluish gray sticks and it has a black stem. You can do dark green as well, but I definitely think black works better for this one. I really wish Lego would make the petal colors in white. It would just make so many of these so good, especially this middle one here. It does have light gray petals, and then the middle is a combination between white royal blue and the dark azure and then the plates should be the same we have the one by ones in the dark azure and then the two by ones in the blue we do have a white middle on this one and then the back we have the same dark gray sticks as the other one it does have a black core there as you can see but you can easily modify that to be white since I did add a white stem to this. I wanted to show you guys it doesn't have to be just black or green. You can make it white as well to blend better for a white bouquet. But I do really love this one and it would be even better if we had the white petals there. This one over here has the same light gray petals except this one has the all white middle, including the plates, both the one by ones 
and one by twos are in white and then we have the medium gray color there in the middle to provide some extra contrast the back we do have white sticks which would go perfect if we had white petals i even would love lego to make the petals in a blue or a purple that would just be absolutely fantastic again we do have the dark core there but we can switch that out or you could make it just have a black stem that would also work thanks for watching i really appreciate it let me know your favorite color combo down below and what you would like to see next out of the sunflowers if you have seen my Gerbera Daisy colors and want me to incorporate more of those into the sunflowers, let me know. I can also do a video converting the sunflowers to Gerbera Daisies and vice versa and show the extra parts that would be needed to go between the two flowers. There will definitely be more with the sunflowers. I plan on making a sunflower baby blossom video that should be after this one so make sure to stay tuned for that if you want some perfect sunflower bouquet filler if you do like my content i would really appreciate it if you leave a like and also consider subscribing as it really would help me out a lot and make sure you check out the links below to get better pictures of the flowers on instagram and feel free to contact me on any platform if you have any questions or need any clarifications on certain colors.